This is the S&P 500 one day reading for November 25th, 2022. Uh, it's currently October 7th, 2022, 7, 11 p.m. Eastern time. The overall theme and behavior, guys, we have a rally along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meeting a secondary resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. And we have three crisscrosses around the high, um, confirming a bullish trend on that third cross, uh, which will be moving upward through the, through the price level. Um, behavior around the low. Uh, okay, well, it's a half a day, guys. In, in a observance of Thanksgiving, they give us a half day off. So the market's only open till one o'clock on, uh, on this on the 25th but in any case i'm advised to trade around a rally higher that marks an opportunity to open up a short position um we have sideways rotation along support um in the pre-market uh and then it looks like a resistance level that's highlighted in the bit, a bit of volatility right around the open but there's a rally higher there um out of the open into the first, I don't know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes of trading. Um, and there's multiple false, uh, most, multiple uh, failed attempts to break through key resistance there. Um, it's like a move higher and then a retracement of that move in the first half hour. And then we have multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance between roughly 10 and 11. Between 11 and 12, we revisit past problems and decline through a support level that we recently broke through once already. Um, and then there's a big move. Wow, there's a big move to the downside towards the end of the day. So like, um, looks like we have a high first thing in the morning um, at, a, at that resistance. Matter of fact, um, there's a move like higher to out of the open, meet resistance, retrace fully back down, break, bump up against resistance, failed attempts. And then we break down through a support level that we had recently broke down. Um, it looks like it, it increases with momentum as we move forward into the, into the close. Um, there's a trade opportunity there in the midst of that decline in the last um, two hours of trading. So a good day trade there if you are, are open up some, I, I plan on opening up some puts here first thing in the morning and selling those puts just uh, within the last two hours of trading after a notable move downward. Um, sneak preview for uh, the 28th, we have a, uh, We'll be opening up higher than the closing price here. We're higher than wherever the post market here ends, I should say. Um, and that's the S&P 500 for November 25th, 2022. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you don't know the rule of karma, please watch the video on the rule of karma, explaining the rule of karma on our channel YouTube. Um, super important if you're planning to profit from this information that you know that rule because it's kind of like uh, part of part of the whole system. Like this is this is very valuable information coming to you free from a source that's non-physical. In order for you to karmically be able to use it well, you need to follow that rule of karma. That's just the way it is, my friends. So spread it forward. Throw a little bit back this way, just a little bit. And make sure you spend all that money out of love. The root of all evil, as well as the root of all good, is the human. What we do with money just accentuates whether or not it's evil or good that we're putting out there. So make sure it's good, guys. Make sure it's out of love. Um, as, far, as long as you follow that golden rule, the universe is going to open up doors for you. You never even knew were coming. Um, I'll see you guys. Have, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on the next one.